Well, jewelry styles vary from culture to culture, and now an ancient form of Japanese braiding is gaining popularity in the Western world. It's called kumahimo, and Renee Towns from Not All Beads is here to teach us all about it. So I've been practicing that, kumahimo. <laughs> so tell us what it is. Um, it is an ancient form of um, Japanese braiding. It's centuries old, and the uh, soldiers used to wear um, the different braided silks um, on their armor. And then it just took off um, in popularity, um, doing it with um, beads and adding embellishments to the strings. Speaking about popularity, it's now become almost like a staple in anime, very popular in some of those anime and animated cartoons and things like that in, um, you know, from Japan. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, um, it has been featured in a couple of the anime movies. Wow. Oh, wow. So, so everyone's kids are going to know this. <laughs> oh, <exactly. laughs> exactly. All right, so you brought some examples, and let's start with what we, because, you know, we like to try out our hand at a lot of things that we cannot do. Okay. But you brought examples of what this actually looks like. So wow, describe beautiful. this first um, necklace for us. Um, we did a portion of it um, uh, with beads and then we just added chain. You can do the whole um, rope all the way around the neck or you can make bracelets and um, there's really no limit to what you can do when you vary the shape of the beads, sizes, and um, length of it. All different widths too, which yes. I like, because I know some people don't want to wear something chunky and some people do. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when we start, we're gonna start with um, some type of cording. Uh -huh. um, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna do a basic um, pattern, which is an eight strand braid. That is usually a beginner braid. And you have the, um, you cut eight uh, strings and they usually need to be about three times the length oh. of whatever you want to finish. with the braiding it's going to get oh. shorter. Correct. But you also, I know you said you have the braids, but what is this thing? This is a, a kumihimo disc. Okay. It is um, just a, a styrofoam disc and it helps keep the threads in place. And oh, okay. when you start doing more complicated, there's actually numbers and you can get up to, to like 20, 30 different strings and they all have to move to different numbers wow. yeah, and follow gets, patterns. Yeah, it gets a little complicated. I want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they also have a, a maradai. It's a tall wooden uh, structure that basically is holding this up okay. and allowing you to do a really long piece. Oh, so you can just hang it and then just go from place to place, to place. and pull the strings okay. over? Correct. So, so I know that you started this one. Yes. So give us an example of how we would use this. So do we, for instance, I have a string right here at 20, and it's numbered. Okay. Do I just bring it over to the other side? Okay, so I'm going to show all of you, and you okay. can all follow along. All I, right. Whenever you um, stop and have to take a break. You'll never know where you were if you just leave yeah. them all two, two, two. So there should be a three strand on everybody's disc. Okay, got okay. it. That is got gonna it. be facing you. Okay. okay. And you're gonna hold with your left hand. Okay. And um, you would take that top one, and I've already moved it down. That's what made that third at uh -huh. the bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, and so I already moved it down for you oh, because okay. Um, I didn't want it to get messed up. So now we're going to switch to our right hand. Okay. Uh -huh. With our left hand, take the, the outside um, cord. Uh -huh. Okay. And you're going to take it and move it up to the top on the left side of that top On the string. left side. Okay. Yes. You're going to tuck that in. Yeah. And now, like, we're going to make a left hand turn. We're going to turn our disc one, yeah. mm -hmm. one revolution. Okay. And now we're going to take with our left hand our right hand, bring that string down to the right side. The down, the up one down to the to right. To the right side, correct. Okay. Oh, that's not that bad. And now the left side uh -huh. goes up. The left side, okay, up. Mm -hmm. Onto the left side of that. Oh, okay. okay. And then you're gonna turn your wheel again. So as turn I said it was wheel. not that bad, I lost. <laughs> 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 I lost okay. count and direction. That's no. all right. If you've been doing this for a while, does it get to be second nature so you could be watching a movie or oh, having yeah. a conversation? Oh. Okay, because right I now I'm this like, one left, right. Right. <laughs> Almost like crocheting. I need you to yes. call it. <laughs> all right, now, turn. So these are all just plain. Um, Joey, uh, Linda, and Jackie, you have just the plain silk. We're um, the beginners. Yeah. <laughs> We're the beginners. Now, now on Bobeth, I um, actually have 
have some beads on there. Mm -hmm. And when you um, take the, uh, the disc for adding a bead, the cross string, you have to tuck the bead in under the cross string. So I'm going to show. That's the only thing that I think I've been doing right. Okay. But oh. everything else has, is all. Is, is, is I, know, all. I recognize this look on Bobette. That means she's in the zone. <laughs> so in a few minutes, she's going to have a full strand. So you tuck the bead in under the string and bring it down. And then we'll turn. Oh, I see them building up. Oh, cool. Take that, that bead. Oh. It has to tuck in. If it doesn't, it'll just keep getting pushed out of the way. And Down, you just go around in circles. And, and around in circles. Once you have the desired length that you want, and I'm just going to set this one down. This one I did last night. I do have it ready Very to be taken beautiful. off the wheel. I'll wow. put it up so we can see it. So every bead represents a strand being wow. moved. Wow. Correct. That's incredible. Whoa. This Correct. is a beautiful bracelet. Now, you guys can find out more about classes and the workshops to do this and many other projects at Not All Beads by going to their website or just visiting their store on Main Street in Lakewood Ranch. Thank you so much, Renee. This is fun. Thank you. All right. Cool. Next, we're stepping right up with the circus. We'll be right back.